Hi guys, it's the next day. Um, these sausages have been been hanging here overnight, and the pickling salt inside of them have turned them red. And now we have to smoke them, but we have to cold smoke them. So I'm going to show you what we have been using in previous years, and just give you an overview over the whole process. Okay, so this is actually not the smoker because um, we smoke when we smoke hot, for example, fish, we use our smoker and then we have built this box that we can put on top of it so the smoke can cool down and we can smoke ham and these sausages that need to be smoked cold. So we have two levels in here. I'm gonna try to fit all the sausages in there and then we're gonna take it over to the actual smoker, which is also a homemade um, thing. Here we have our smoker, it's uh, built out of stainless steel. Um, actually my uncle on my father's side built this. If we want to smoke warm fish or something, we put that in here. And now we put this box with the sausages on top. The smoke can only have 28 degrees Celsius, otherwise it uh, softens the fat. And we just want to have the smoke. So my dad is going to put some sawdust in here and then we have a electric um, fire started here that we can control and that's how we create the smoke on this. It's like the smoke greaser. It's a We just found out that um, the electric uh, fire starter is broken, so we have to do it by hand. Hey guys, um, it's morning. These uh, sausages were in there till late last night, and now we have to put them in the freezer. Let's check on them together. That smells delicious. absolutely beautiful and delicious so these uh, cold smoked and pickled um, sausages we use them to uh, put them in casseroles to put them in soup and stuff like that they taste really good if you for example boil them in a potato soup or you cut slice them thinly and fry them up and put them in a potato casserole, for example. It's absolutely delicious. It's the same dough, the same meat dough, as went into those glasses for the meat spread, and um, it tastes very different. 
um, because that one is boiled and this one is uh, pickled and cold smoked then. And you see how red the sausages are now. And if you have ever wondered why these sausages have this little dent here, it's because they always rest like this over sticks. So we have 160 sausages here and now I'll just have to put them in the freezer. So in about eight days from now, the ham and bacon and all of that has been in the um, salt water or actually it's not just salt water, it's like herbs and everything in there, but do you call it brine, I believe, something like that, um, has been in there for about eight days and uh, for two days it needs to be eight more days and then we'll be able to smoke that and that'll be another uh, delicious um, thing to do. I wish you guys could smell this. This is something that is so much fun. So we monitored the temperature yesterday and it never went above um, 28 to 30 degrees was the warmest we had it for a short time and then it stayed below there. And in this case the smoke uh, is not that important for the actual preservation but more for the flavor. It, it helps preserve the food obviously but um, you know I, I think when you smoke something hot um, that has more of a um, yeah to preserve it and stuff like here it was really important you know that you pickled it and all of that um, with pickling salt um, and and um, the smoke is now for the flavor mainly Hey guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, enjoyed being uh, part of this process here as well. And um, bad for you, but good for me. We get to try this and eat the sausage. You won't. But um, hope you enjoyed um, just watching us do this. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.